Hi all, in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the topic named Object Oriented Modeling using UML language. So these are the topics that we will be covering in this video lecture. First of all we will see what is this UML, then why we have to model something, then the different diagrams that comes under UML. So first of all unified modeling language UML that is a short form for unified modeling language so we will see what is UML first of all again the term language is used along with this term that is it is unified modeling language that means it is a language itself so we know what's the purpose of a language I have explained this the need for a language that is it is used for communicating so this unified modeling language is also a language that is used to communication I will say that it is somewhat similar to the flowcharts that you draw when we when in C programming and all the flowchart is not is not something related to C programming alone right irrespective of the programming language you can draw the flowchart. So what's the need of a flowchart? It is to visualize our program, how each and everything will be carried out, how the program is going to work. That is known as a flowchart. The language we use to do a program has nothing to do with the flowchart, right? The same thing can be applied here also. UML is a unified modeling language. It does not have any importance with the programming language we are going to use to code the software. Okay, it is actually a language for documentation. So, as any other language, UML also has got some syntax that is its grammar and semantics. Semantics means how to use the grammar to develop something. So, like any other programming language or like any other human language, UML, unified modeling language, also have a syntax and semantics now what's the need of this model language it provides set of graphical notations like flowchart we draw we know that the importance of the meaning of each shape that we draw in a flowchart we use oval shape to indicate the start and end we use a parallelogram to indicate the condition like that right so anybody in this world who sees that flowchart will be able to understand the meaning of those symbols and will be able to understand how the program is going to work okay so that is the basic purpose of this UML unified model language also anybody in this world must be able to understand how our system is going to work okay so now we have to know what is a model actually there is no need to uh, explain these things because you know the meaning of the word model a model is actually an abstraction of a real world situation or real problem for example before we built a house our constructor will show us a plan what will be its front view what will be its top view it's actually a plan it's actually a pictorial representation right the same thing that is known as a model and why we have to use a model what's the importance of modeling something it's a good idea before we start something we have we have a good model with us so that we'll be getting an overall review or overall view about the thing that we are going to develop right so that means it reduces the complexity and it makes us it makes easy to understand the problem okay so we can say that a model is a simplified version of a real system that you all know you might all of you are good uh, have good uh, experience in this modeling right you might have drawn so many pictures to explain something to your friends or to your parents etc okay so that is known as this modeling a model and why we have to model why we need to consider a model these are the three important reasons that we have to consider because of uh, that we have to think about when we model something first of all it reduces the complexity of a problem then it helps us to uh, arrive at good solutions because when we draw something on a paper we will we'll get an idea what is going to happen after this after single step 
so we can arrive at good solutions or good decisions before we start doing something then it also helps to reduce the design cost because if you have an entire model of a system that we are going to develop so we know what are the important things that we have to consider what are those things that we, we can ignore so all those things we will be able to know before we start building the model okay that is why we are saying that model is very important now UML diagrams UML diagram is actually a collection of so many diagrams it's not a single diagram okay it's actually a collection of diagrams we will see which are those diagrams so before that any UML diagram captures the following views of a system so a system can be uh, viewed in different different ways right it can be viewed from the user's aspect it can be viewed from a programmer's aspect so different viewpoints through which we can look at a system so these are the different views that can that we can talk about when we discuss about a system they can be a user's view a structural view behavioral view implementation view and environmental view so the diagrams that we use to model or to show these views all together it's known as UML diagrams okay so UML diagrams is not a single diagram it's a collection of diagrams there are so many diagrams that comes under UML diagram but depending upon the view that we want to draw or model the diagram which we are going to use will be different so the diagram that we, go, we are going to use for viewing uh, for drawing the user's view may not be good for implementing or showing the structural view so for each view there will be different set of diagrams that we have to follow okay so this is the overall uh, picture of UML diagrams as you can see the user's view is at the center that means every other view even if it is structural behavioral uh, environmental or implementation all the other view depends upon the user's view because it is a user to which we are going to uh, deliver our software our project or our product so it is a customer whom we have to take care first of all so everything else the, the every other views of an entire system depends upon the user's view that is why we are placing the user's view at the center itself and see we can see so many diagrams here class diagram object diagram sequence diagram collaboration diagram state chart diagram so all these diagrams are known as uml diagrams so one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can consider uml diagrams as a collection of nine diagrams okay so it's not like we have to use all these diagrams to implement or to model something what we have to model if it is user's view we have to use use case diagram if it is structural view we have to use class diagram or object diagram or both so these these two diagrams are not required to, to model the user's view so it is depending upon the view we are going to model the diagram we had to select now what is a user's view user's view is actually how the user is visualizing the system so when the customer tells us something that is their requirement before we start a project we will be definitely going to the customer and we will talk with them what is their requirement they will tell us their requirement and based on what we have understood we will be drawing a model that is known as the user's view so in that model we will not be writing any single line of code we will not be we will not write anything any implementation details right it will be just an entire model to make the customer feel good okay that is a user's view next is structural view structural view is actually static model that means it is fixed it's not going to change uh, frequently because once we define a structure it cannot be changed frequently or else we can say when we define a structural view it has to be such a way that it should not be changed frequently okay and structural view defines the structure of the problem that is in terms of uh, what all things we are going to use in this uh, system to develop the system that is known as structural view next is behavioral view so now we have in structural view we have defined the or we have decided to use certain objects right we have decided to use these, these several things and how they are behaving each other how they are interacting with each other that is known as behavioral view 
okay they captures the dependency between each and everything inside a system that is known as behavioral view next is implementation view as the name indicates it's the view that happens when we implement something okay so implementation means when we uh, Im i hope you know the word meaning of implementation that we start carrying out the actions so implementation view captures the components of their system and their dependencies how they are dependent to each other how they are depending on one object how it is going to depend the other when we start implementing a project okay so this may include our graphic user interface like the page forms that we display the forms that we create to enter the username password email id etc so all those things will be under can be considered as implementation view now we have one more view that is and that is environmental view so environmental view is used to model how different components are implemented on different piece of hardware okay so we have designed everything we have decided to use several things now how can we implement that in different situations or different hardwares that is what we mean uh, we model by using environmental view or that is what we mean by this environmental view so as i have so, so these are the different views and we have also seen that picture they are all to the nine uml diagrams class diagram object diagram state chart diagram use case diagram there are different all to the nine diagrams are there under the category uml diagrams it's not compulsory that we have to use all those nine diagrams to model our system so what we have to model that is what helps us to decide which diagram we have to use okay so this last line is very important the type of models to be constructed depends on the problem at hand okay so which model what kind of model we have to develop that depends upon the the problem we are going to solve and the model which we have to implement or the model which we have to show based on the model which we have to show the type of uml diagram we can use will be different okay so we shall conclude this video lecture so in this video lecture we discussed about uml programming language what is uml then what's a model what's the need of a model and different uml diagrams how many uh, all together there are nine uml diagrams and what are the di different views of a same system they are uss view environmental structural behavior behavioral and implementation views and depending upon the view we are going to model the diagram we, we are going to use will be different so from the next video lecture onwards we are going to see the more the different diagrams that are used or that comes under uml diagrams okay we will be discussing about use case diagram then class diagram object diagram all these things one by one we will be seeing so we will be able to understand the difference between them and which diagram we have to use to model uh, these different views okay that's all for this video lecture thank you so much